Hey guys, Railroad Sniper here today with another video. This is going to be another kind of different type of video. I would call it a tour review because your clothing is tools, right? I mean, you wear it every day, get your job done, so it's a tour review kind of, more of a clothing review, I guess. Today we're going over my like uh, preferred jeans, which are the Wrangler, you can't really see it very well, but they're the Wrangler rigs I work wear five pocket jean, um, specifically the advanced comfort version. Um, so let's go over prices first. So like I own three different types. I own the quilted lined ones, the advanced comfort and the regulars. Um, so the five pocket standard, it's about $39 and it's hundred percent cotton. The, um, advanced comfort is, um, I think 70% cotton, like 19%, uh, uh, and polyester and like 1% spandex and the quilted lined let me look at the sheet real quick what, what the composition of these are also the advanced comfort is about $44 uh, the uh, quilted lined is 100% cotton uh, denim body with 100 grams of 3M uh, thin insulation for the lining and those are about $59 so they're not the most expensive jeans by far like you pay more for fashion jeans for sure but you know they're not as cheap as like the members mark or the levi's like gold you know so definitely do pay a premium so currently i'm wearing the advanced comfort so i'll show y'all the uh the standards so the, i wear 3330 so this is like five nine and a half without shoes on um so as you can see one of the unique features of these jeans, I haven't seen it on any other jean, um, but it's this, uh, they call it a tape measure uh, protector thing. So, you know, you get the metal hook your tape measure, and if you hook it on so many times, you know, it's going to wear through this section of denim, but they put a little leather reinforcement there. So that's pretty nice, because um, I like to keep my flashlight right here. It keeps the belt clip from wearing through. I wish they had one on the fifth pocket, but they don't, so. But this is like 14 and a half ounce down. So it's pretty, it's decently thick. You know, like your standard jeans are going to be like 10 or 12 ounces. Uh, per, I think it's per square foot or per square yard. Um, anyways, we've got, you know, this nice button closure up top with the Riggs uh, workwear emblem, which is like an R with a screw. And, uh zip fly it's got a nice big zipper heavy gauge um it's got a boot on it i don't know if this is a ykk zipper um it doesn't say oh no it does okay it is a ykk zipper as you can see so high quality zipper it says u5yg on it for what that's worth i don't know if that's the model but um that's that it's got triple stitching all around most of the way like up here triple stitching down to like this section triple stitched and it's got triple stitching down the leg the rest of it's all mostly double stitch like the fly is double stitched the pockets are double stitched um the belt loops are double stitched the only part that's single stitch, and I don't even know if you call it single stitch, but that's like around the waist and around the cuff, you know. So, let's see. Another feature I really like about these jeans is how deep the pockets are. So, I don't know how many people you watch are like uh, console gamers or anything. Probably not very many of you, based on my YouTube age demographic. <laughs> But, um, you can feel like a whole Nintendo Switch in here or something. Um, I think these are 12 inches deep. So, like, here's my arm. Oh, that's the... And, like, you know, it goes up to, like, halfway up my forearm almost. Let me see if I can, like, show y'all real quick how deep this is. 
We can't see it very well, but rest assured, these things are deep. Um, my, oh yeah, I'm, I'm filming with my phone, but there's like a can of soda. Like, I mean, it holds it <laughs> pretty well. I put some like ridiculously large things in these pockets. Another thing I really like is how big the coin pocket is, or a fifth pocket. Even that, like, you can fit, like, four fingers in there. It's awesome. Another thing that's pretty cool is these rivets. You see on, like, old, a lot of, like, jeans I used to own, the rivets stuck out. So if you're leaning on, like, your car or something, working on a car, they'll uh, have a greater chance of scratching the paint up. With these rivets, it's less of a problem. Pretty nice rivets. I don't think they're either like steel riv stainless steel rivets or like uh, plated copper or brass, but they're pretty nice rivets from what I can tell. Um, back pocket. I don't really use back pockets. I know a lot of people do. Once again, these are pretty deep, probably like five or six inches deep at the least. Um. The belt loops, the belt loops. These belt loops are like super wide. Like if, uh, let's see, if I grab a pair of my like uh, comfort jeans, I got these at Columbia. Like, I mean, look how thin that is. You know, these are more comfort and fashion jeans. So, you know, I mean, I don't expect them to be as durable, but it's like shocking. I think it's shocking to like see the difference. Okay, so like, now we can get on to the Cool to the line. Now, these things are heavy. If you don't like heavy jeans, don't buy these. Like, I'd say that we at least double the uh, standard. Like, let's see. Let me unbutton them so you can see the lining. See, it's almost got like this, like, it's almost like a flannel or blanket texture. That That's like throughout the whole jean. And like, even the pocket bags are like, they're behind the lining. It's kind of interesting. I got these jeans a while, like a few, several months um, after I got this, the, the regular jeans because winter came around, you know. And there are a few differences. So the zipper's still YKK. It's still really heavy gauge. However, um, it doesn't have the little boot on it, which, I mean, I don't really care. It's aesthetic. Um, the button is gold or brass colored without the Riggs work wear. And the rivets are uh, the brass color instead of, like, you know, that steel color. Um, another thing to note, these are all 3330 jeans. However... These jeans are like an inch longer than my standard jeans for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but if you're getting these jeans, maybe like go down a leg size. <laughs> like if you're like 34, 30, maybe get like a 34, 29 or something like that. Um, those jeans though, those are really warm. Like I've worn them in sub freezing weather. Like it's like a nice like cool fall day if not like a summer day almost they're really warm without being like where they're gonna like make you sweat a lot you know um let's see I'm not sure there's much else to talk about um these are a straight fit I think or relaxed fit so they are gonna fit pretty loose they're gonna be pretty baggy um, if you don't like that, they do sell a slim fit, 
but uh, I'm figuring if you're working in these, you're going to want prefer the work room. Um, now, these are pretty durable jeans. I would definitely recommend them for work. Um, unless you have a cheaper brand that you prefer or that works better. But, um, sadly, I haven't really got to work in these a whole lot as much as I'd like to. Because I used to have, like, a few pairs of, like, Wrangler Authentics and uh, Levi's that I would wear all the time. And I would just, like, honestly, I didn't really take care of them. Like, I would wear them. I wouldn't even change into, like, work clothes. But, um... After I got these jeans, you know, I'm taking care of these and I have a set of work pants so I work in when I'm doing really dirty work. But however, I did do a bathroom renovation in these jeans and uh, they held up to like drywall dust, you know. Um, we used some air tools for that. They held up to like the air tool oil, you know, it washed out fun. I've accidentally gotten like paint on these. Uh, I was like touch using some touch-up paint on my car. I got some on the pant leg. And uh, if you asked me where it was, I couldn't tell you because it came out really well um and i was kind of kind of rough on them when i was cleaning them i put some of that uh cherry bomb pumice hand cleaner from like zep on there and scrubbed on the paint to like wear it off of the denim and it held up great to that um <sighs> hmm. yeah these are great jeans i mean you do pay a premium, but I would say it's worth it based on the thicker denim, the uh, technology. I forgot to mention, these have a crotch gusset, a diamond shaped piece of fabric to allow for greater range of movement. And you can squat down on these, even in the regular non-stretch fabric. Like it, that gusset is awesome. If you've ever worn a, pair, worn a pair of pants with gussets, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Anyways, I think that'll about do it for this video. Since this is like a out of the ordinary video, I think I'm gonna release a tool video as well. But I like I'd like to expand my horizons a little bit in terms of videos, you know. So we'll see how this does. And if you have any suggestions or questions, uh, just leave it down in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.